Hello and welcome back. In this video, I want to show you, as promised, how to create an agent. Basically, this agent will um, its job that um, you can create to schedule, and it's being used when when you want to send uh, reports on a weekly or monthly or daily uh, uh, basis to an email address or to external devices. So, how you can create this? Um, in the previous videos, I explained how you can create analysis and uh, after that, uh, how you can create based on that or using those those analysis a dashboard page. So if you navigate to the dashboard page, it's something like this. Let I'm just want to edit the, the prompt not to be uh, default filtered. So I'm just edit in it. I don't. I want. I want all the all the results to be displayed and not to be filtered. So I'm just sorry. So I just choose none. Okay. I don't like the way it looks. What about now? No. Okay. Save it. Okay. I'm return back now to the dashboard. Okay. Let's just say that uh, this kind of uh, this kind of reports you want to be uh, submitted to your managers or to whomever finds this uh, information to be uh, relevant on a let's just say a weekly or monthly basis. So, first, if you define already the analysis that you want to, to be sent and also the, the dashboard page how how it should feel and look, you can add this to a briefing book. Basically, the briefing book is a collection of uh, analyses. You can you can save multiple dashboard pages into one briefing book and this briefing book will create the PDF version of the dashboard so if you have multiple dashboard pages let's just say 10 it will be 10 PDF in this document so I'm just uh, I'm just placing it here somewhere in the share folders components and I will call it briefing book or yeah for, for agent or weekly some, something some, something like this weekly weekly report okay now that we have created uh, next step should be to create a new agent so new agent and here we can set a priority usually should be a normal one and the user in in this example I'm using the web logic web logic user and when to schedule it first of all you need to you need to uh, choose again the time when you want it to be sent uh, you can choose a monthly and here you can choose either uh, uh, the day that it will start first Sunday of every of every month or uh, you can choose Monday and so on if you choose weekly it will it will ask you how many times or how many weeks every one week two weeks or so and again you can choose the the day that the day of the week when it this job should run I'll click on a Monday but and to start the mm, the first the first agent or the first time that it will run you can also set the date and the time but in my example I'll, I'll choose to use it only once Basically, once I create this and click run, it will simply run one time. The condition. Well, we have to use a condition, and we have to create create one on an analysis. I'll just choose uh, components, sales PI sample. And parameters let's just say the quarter name is prompted it should be okay let's just test it okay it's two now I'm going to the delivery content by the way in the condition is not it's n you don't have to choose it if you don't have a, a, a condition to be created so yeah maybe it's better for to not use a condition however I, I want uh, content to be delivered so subject would be 
weekly report just right and the content should be a briefing book now I have to browse for the briefing book and the briefing book was uh, stored in components weekly report this is the icon that you will see for a briefing book basically it's a blue blue book okay and here you can touch note it's not attached the weekly report thanks thank you okay and then recipients you can add an email address and I use my personal one Okay, destinations should be only specific email. Okay, for the action, leave everything as, as it is. There's no, there's no condition or some, something else that should be added. Simply save this agent. I'll save it here again in components. And it's a weekly agent, weekly agent. Now it's saved. I can browse, and I can I can hit the run run uh, button here. Once I once I hit the run button, basically what it will do it will go to uh, to check the analysis that are on the dashboard and then on the briefing book, and that information will be sent by email as 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 a PDF. And I'll show you how it looks like. Okay, so if I <coughs> open the email that the agent has sent, it's basically again the PDF version of the document from uh, the dashboard that was printed using the dashboard and uh, then the briefing book. Not only the this, not only the um, this kind of information you can set as as an agent. It can be the analysis itself or. Uh, or other things many other things you can you can set it up using using an agent that's about for today thank you for much for so much for watching uh, catch you next time